Hello friends, welcome to C-Sharp Programming. In this video, I will teach you about operator overloading in C-Sharp Programming. So basically, operator overloading comes in most of the object-oriented programming language like C++ and we have another Python programming, we can use operator overloading, right? So what is operator overloading is, operator is a symbol used for mathematical operation, basically. If you want to give extra functionality for the operators, we can use uh, we can implement operator overload. It is called as operator overloading, right? So it is the ability to use the same operator to do various operations. Okay. So basically, in C sharp, how we have to implement operators? Uh, we are going to add a special functionality. We are going to uh, give special functionality to the C sharp operators so that we can use the operator for user defined class objects also. So by default, the operators are used for adding integer and double and uh, symbol values, right? So is it possible to add object type, okay? Yes, it is possible. We can make the object also, we can, uh, we can apply, we can make the operator to work on object also, okay? So how will you do that? For that, we have to go for operator load, overloading. Okay. So how to do the operator overloading? So for that we have to create a special function. Okay. An operator can be overloaded by defining a function for that. So we have to create a function for each and every operator and we have to add uh, the required attributes like static and parameters and uh, other details. right? So uh, we have to create a special function. Inside special function we can write the logic how you want to add the object. So for example, this is a syntax of how to create that particular special function. So first we need to provide the access specifier like public or private or protected or internal we can give in seizure. And the uh, one important thing is the overloading method, the function should be a static method. By default in seizure, operator function should be a static function. So the reason is in operator function we cannot access this keyword. This keyword there is no access so uh, it should be a static method and the return type should be a class name so since we are using operator overloading with the object type the return type should be a class type so we have to use class name as a return type and operator keyword then operator symbol so this symbol can be replaced by plus or minus or multiplication or division or any operator that you are going to work and we can give a parameters Inside we can write the logic how you want to uh, perform mathematical operation in the object, right? Now let us see one example how we can perform operator overloading in class types. So let us see one example. So for to demonstrate I will create one class. For example I am going to create a class called distance class. Inside distance class I am going to create data such as feet and inches, okay? So first data I am going to keep it as feet and second data I am going to keep it as inches, right? For example, I am going to demonstrate a small distance, okay? Now we will create a constructor to initialize this uh, these two data. So to create constructor, we can use uh, public, is mandatory and we can initialize all the fields by using this dot feet and this dot inches. So now the constructor is ready and after this constructor I am going to create a method to display the feet and inches. Okay? I want to display the uh, details of this distance object. Okay? So we will create one function called view so that I can view the distance. right? So let us try uh, one function to display the details of the distance. Console dot right line. First I am going to display feet. Otherwise, we can display in one line, we can display. Uh, for example, first we will display um, how many feet, uh, like this, feet. Now we can say that feet and how many inches, okay. We can provide uh, feet and uh, this many inches, right. So we can use plus operator and we can display inches, okay. So here feet value will be displayed. So for example, 10 feet and 4 inches like that it will display okay right so this is for view the data right view the distance object so now let us create object in main function i have a distance class let us create two 
distance object for example uh, distance d1 equal to new distance inside uh, new distance uh, we can define the feet and inches for example 10 feet and 4 inches for the first distance and uh, second one more distance will create called d2 new distance and here will provide 7 feet and 8 inches right so now uh, when you display we can able to see the uh, data for example i'll uh, display d1 dot i think this console is not needed we can uh, d1 dot view and similarly when you call d2 dot view we can see the the distance of each uh, object right so let us uh, see the output yeah here we can see uh, first distance is 10 feet and 4 inches the second distance object is 7 feet and 10, 8 inches so uh, by seeing this output we can give some gap over here and here also we can give gap and here also we can give gap okay so that output will be uh, readable more readable so now like this is coming right so now what is operator overloading is can we add these two distance objects so that is the question can is it possible to add these two distance we have feet and inches okay. is it possible to uh, perform a mathematical operation d1 plus d2 is it possible okay for example like this so distance d3 equal to d1 plus d3 okay so is it possible to add like this by default no it is not possible right so you'll get error you'll be getting error operator plus cannot be applied to operands of type distance and distance so since it is a class type plus operator cannot add okay there is no functionality for that so using operator overloading we can write the functionalities we can write the functionality by using this syntax okay so we can write one functionality uh, operator function we can write we can create operator function for uh, changing the for adding a special meaning for this plus operator okay so now let us see how to do that okay so after this view function you have to go to the distance class after the view function will create a fun function the operator function operator overloading function okay public then followed by static and followed by class name we have to give the class name so here the class name is distance right so we have to give the distance as a class name then followed by operator keyword so operator keyword in uh, it will instruct the compiler that this is an operator overloading function okay and followed by symbol which operator we are going to use plus operator right so plus operator within bracket we have to pass parameters so how many parameters we have to pass we are going to add two distance objects so d1 and there is a mistake d2 okay d1 and d2 right so here we have to pass two distance objects so we have to create first one is d1 second one is d2 it can be any variable uh, it is not uh, mandatory that you have to give the same d1 d2 it can be any variable okay and open the uh, function body and close the function body right so this is a operator function and yeah so you will be getting error because we are not returning any any object still right so we have to return object distance look at the return type it is a distance object so we have to return a value right so now here what will happen is when this plus operator comes what will happen is uh, this line this line will the line number 27 this expression call this function okay that expression calls this public static distance operator plus function will be called okay and the first parameter the first data d1 pass on to this variable and d2 is pass on to d2 object okay so now we have to add you know how to add right so we can create a new feed f is equal to d1 dot feed plus we can add the feed similarly uh, inch inch we can add i equal to for example i'm taking a temporary variable d1 dot uh, inches plus d2 dot inches then we can create we can return a new distance like this okay return new distance f comma i so uh, here we are adding feet and inches and we are creating a new distance object and we are returning here right so the returned object will be coming here this d1 plus d2 will be replaced by the returned 
object okay so now we can see the output we can verify whether it is uh, uh, added or not by using view function d3 dot view function okay right so now let us see the output i'll save it and we can see the output so here now if you see here the output is 17 feet 12 inches we are getting okay 17 feet 12 inches how it is added 10 plus 7 and 4 plus 8 see now it is working so now the plus operator know how to add this distance d1 with d2 by using this this function uh, this overloaded function so this is about overloading so overloading can be you can use overloading with the plus operator minus operator division operator uh, for example if you, you can compare also for example assume that i want to compare okay i want to compare uh, these two distance i want to check that d1 is equal to d2 or not okay uh, if it is equal i want to say that uh, both are equal uh, distance okay you can say that right line both uh, distance are equal okay distance is equal okay and if it is uh, uh, different okay else we can write a else uh, logic and we can display that it is not equal okay so we can write like this okay distance is not equal okay so now you you won't get any error you won't get any error because this uh, double equal to operator by default it will compare the reference memory address it will compare the memory address so that is a default functionality of double equal to operator when you use object okay suppose if you want to compare based on the feet and inches you have to overload this operator this equal to operator you have to overload let's see how to overload equal to operator so now we can write the another function to overload this double equal to operator so i want to compare this distance 1 and distance 2 right so we can write one more function public static here we can return boolean value because uh, i want to do comparison right so we can use a boolean then operator is double equal to then we have to use the parameter inside we can return a boolean value by comparing the feet first we are going to compare the feet and after that we are going to compare the inches so if both are equal we can return true right so here you will get what error the operator doubly equal to require matching operator not equal to okay so there is a rule that uh, if you want to overload double equal to operator we have to overload the not equal to operator also okay not equal to also we have to overload so we can come copy this and we can create one more function and we can overload not equal to operator right so here we can check not equal to uh, comparison for the feet and inches okay so now it is okay right so there is a small rule is there uh, what is why it is actually this rule is by default this equal to comparison will be doing equals function comparison you know reference equal comparison right so in order to uh, in order to con in, in order to avoid the conflict okay we have to do these two operations equal to and not equal to both we have to override if you want to compare two distance object okay so uh, in how we are overriding we are taking d1 and d2 and we are comparing the feet d1 feet with the d2 feet and inch also we are comparing and we are returning a uh, boolean so return after this comparison you will get true or false so that we are returning so here return type we can use boolean okay so now what will happen is when you compare d1 equal to equal to d2 so when this operator comes uh, what will happen is this function will be called which function this particular double equal to function will be called and uh, here uh, it will compare the feet and inches based on that you will be getting the uh, boolean value here here you will be getting a true or false so based on that it will print distance is equal or distance is not equal okay so now i'll save it and we can execute this program yeah now look at this distance is not equal we are getting distance is not equal why because we are given we have given different distance 10 feet 7 feet it is not equal so if you try equal feet and equal inches here now both distance are equal right both distance are equal 
and now if I execute this program, now we are getting distance is equal. Look at this, distance is equal and uh, due to this plus operation, we are getting 20 feet 8 inches. Okay. So here what we have to understand is how it is falling, right? When you compare D1 equal to equal D2, this uh, function is called. Okay. This function is called and we are doing the comparison of feet and inches. And when you perform D1 plus D2, this plus function is called. Okay. So this is about how to overload the operators in C sharp. Okay. It is not limited to this. Uh, we can overload uh, subtract uh, minus operator, multiplication operator, slash division operator and so many operators you can overload. Greater than you can overload. You can check whether it is greater or not or less than or, or not. Distance two distance is less than or greater than or not we can check. Okay. So uh, operator overloading is actually uh, it is used for providing a special functionality for the operator so that it can be used for uh, used for used with the uh, class objects. Okay. So that's all that's all about operator overloading. Thank you.